Hello again, this is part two of the information on the Jewish people, uh, mainly who are the Jewish people today in the land of Israel. Um, we've been told, you know, a lot of a lot of lies um, and it's easy to lie to a certain people that don't really go into history. OK, it's, it's easy to lie to the people that will believe a lie rather than the truth. All right. We won't believe our own because we are trained to have self-hatred amongst each other. That's the problem today. All right. Um, I was going over to part one about, you know, how that how Israel was cast out of the land of Israel. All right. And how the the Jewish people so-called are in that land today. They're nothing but you know, they come from a Khazar tribe, which is a European tribe, all right? And what I'm gonna do is, you know, in part one, I told you that, you know, we provoke the most high to anger. And this part here, I'm gonna show you how we, he's gonna provoke us to jealousy. All right, let's go to Romans chapter 11. I'm gonna start at the first verse. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Now, I was always told that it doesn't matter, you know, if you're a Jew, or it doesn't matter if we are Israelites or not. Now, I hear this out of ignorance. First of all, if it didn't matter, Paul would not state, a, state claim of what seed and what tribe he was from. So we can do this. There's nothing wrong with telling someone that you are from the seed of Abraham, from the tribe of Judah. Because that's what the Negro tribe is. The so-called Negroes in America are from the tribe of Judah. We are the lion's cub. We're the ones that stay in the cub uh, docile state. But we're going to raise raise up out of that and we're going to praise our savior and all the other nations will praise Judah, which means Christ will come out of the tribe of Judah. All right. Verse two, God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Wot ye not what the scriptures saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God and against Israel saying, and we read verse four, but what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. A lot of us, we're not going to bow down to these different images and these different customs of heathens. We're standing against it. All right. Verse, verse five. Even so, then at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Verse seven. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right, see, some of us, we won't see this. We believe that it's false, and we believe that everything is a parable or, or spiritual. Of course, there are a lot of things in the Bible that is spiritual, but what I'm going into right now is talking about physical. A physical people was taken out of a physical land and another physical people were put in that physical land to provoke a physical people to jealousy. All right. Let's go to verse seven. What then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber eyes. They that should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. You, you, you won't see it. You won't hear it. It won't, it, it'll sound foreign to you and you'd reject it. And you, you believe that it doesn't matter. And, you know, long as I got Jesus, you know, uh, that that's all I need. That's why they sell or that's why they provide in churches just a half a book. We don't go into Old Testament. We need to go into the Old Testament to find out our roots. There's nothing wrong with that. We're not striving in genealogies. When I bring this information out, I'm not striving in genealogies. This is not striving, which means... My base core of doctrine is the gospel of Christ.
but I will stand and let our people know who they are according to the Bible. All right. Uh, verse nine. And David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, which means no, we haven't uh, stumbled because we'll fall, you know, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. This is an actual physical people that fell. The Gentiles is in the land of Israel today to provoke them. Who is them? The Israelites. To jealousy. Verse 12. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminish, diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness, which means it's telling you. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, which means we understand that the Gentiles got everything. Those Jewish people in the land, they got their money on. They got their faces on the money. We don't have our faces on the money. They, they own the government. If you own a bank, they own you by the feds. All right. So we, they're the people that's over us. All right. Verse 13, for I speak to you Gentiles in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by many means, excuse me, but if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh. See, he's telling you them which are his flesh. Remember, he just said that he's from the tribe of Benjamin, from the seed of Abraham. All right. And might save some of them. So this is Paul's mission is to save some. Verse 15, for it is for if the casting away of them be the re reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? All right. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the roots be holy, so are the branches. Now I'm going to put up an image of what we should see here, what's going on. This is all symbolic right here. All right. You can say this is symbolic, but you have a tree and hopefully it's come up and it's called Jacob or Israel. All right. And you have the roots and then you can see the ones that fell off. I, I drew it. I'm not an artist. So I'm going to be talking about how my art look here. <laughs> and these are the roots. All right. These are the ones that fell. And this is the olive tree. All right. I just want to show that image real quick because we got we need to see this. And if some of the branches, let me read verse 16. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, right, and thou being a wild olive tree were drafted in among them and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. So the Gentiles, those Israel, those so-called Israelis have boasted against the branches. They're saying they're the people, but they're not. Their foreparents should have told them. See, a lot of them don't know. They really believe that they are Jews. Because their foreparents didn't tell them what happened. They were drafted in. They were taught how to worship in that land. That's what we read in 2 Kings chapter 17. They were taught how to worship. But this information about them being taught, they didn't pass it to their, to, to their seed, their children, their generations to come. They should have passed that down, but they didn't. So now we have this, uh, this deceitful mind pattern with them. They believe that they are the true Jews, but they're not. They were taught how to worship in that land through one of our people, which was the Israelites, the Levites. All right. Uh, verse 19, thou would say then the branches were broken off that I might be drafted in. And I showed you the picture that the branches were broken off. All right. Uh, verse 20, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off and thou Standeth by faith, be not high minded, but fear, which means don't be all high minded thinking you all that when you were just drafted in. All right. Don't boast against the true branches. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. You see that? Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God on them which fail severity, but towards thee goodness 
if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be drafted in. For God is able to draft them in again. So which means, of course, you have, you, you're going to have any other nation in the olive tree drafted in. See, I'm not trying to teach that just Israel is the, is the chosen seed today according to, just according to bloodline. No, what I'm saying is we have to show our people who they are by heritage to let them know. And then those who are not from the seed of, from the seed of Abraham, you can, they can still be drafted in as well. Of course, you can't you see a lot of us just teaching Gentiles teaching. That's why everybody believe that they're Gentile. And if it didn't matter why you got a so-called Israelis people over there in Israel today, it has to matter some kind of way. If they're calling themselves the people of God and we got the, we have a lot of us that know that we're Hebrews. We have documents. We have research that show that they're not the people. OK, they boasted against the branches. It's in the scriptures. Verse 24, for if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were drafted contrary to the nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these which be the natural branches be drafted into their own olive tree? Which means, look, we can get in this tree, we can get into this and in, into the right way and the path and righteousness of God. We will get blessed abundantly all right verse 25 for i would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery see it's again it, it's a mystery right lest ye should be wise in your own conceit that blindness in part is happened to israel until the fullness of the gentiles become all right so now it's just a lot of us just blind to this all right so we need to realize something we're the people of the bible you know, it's true. We're the people of the Bible. And I wanted to bring this out so we could understand this part at least. All right. Those people over there, they're, they're called Khazars. All right. Idumia. You don't see that word anymore. They're considered Idumians. They're from the seed of Esau. The Edomites. All right. Um, there's one more thing I want to bring out real quick. We got to realize something again. You know, Christ was crucified on a cross, right? He was crucified on the cross for our sins. If you are not the people of the Bible, and I'm talking to the tribe of Judah right now, the Negroes, if we're not the people of the Bible, why did they put crosses in your yard and burn them? They know who you are. We're the ones that lost our heritage and was discontinued because in slavery, the reason how we got discontinued, they took our babies and took them off to another place. They split the families up in slavery. So if you are not the people, why do they burn crosses in the yard? Right? This is a cross on fire. Look out for part two. Three.